Hello guys, Rachel here for Archaeologists. Happy New Year! Today, we can do the short unboxing and also reviewing the Ossipus IOTA L36BK AIO Cooler. Let's do the unboxing! Inside the box, you will find a small box that contains the user's manual, the Intel backplate, Intel and AMD brackets, screws, thermal paste, fan connectors, and Velcro straps. And lastly, the Ossipus IOTA L36BK AIO cooler. Let's go to the specifications and features. The water block has dimensions of 70 by 70 by 65 millimeters. The radiator has dimensions of 397 by 120 by 27 millimeters. The tube has a length of 400 millimeters. The Ossipus IOTA L36BK AIO Cooler's water block has a plastic top that has a digital display that looks like floating in the air. The lower part of the water block is using an aluminum alloy material with an Ossipus logo embedded on it. The water block itself is designed beautifully with those curved art designs and not the usual square or circular block. The water block uses tension screws to lock it in place to the brackets. The cold plate of this AIO cooler is made from copper. As this has a digital display, it can be connected by a USB 2.0 connector. For the pump, it is using a 3-pin pump connector. For the RGB lighting, it is using a 3-pin male and female ARGB connector. The radiator is the common one for AIO coolers like this, with a cross-flow design of the fins. It doesn't have any screw protectors, so you should use the provided screws to not damage the radiator. It has a small badge of Ossipus branding on both sides, which is minimal and doesn't distract that much. The tube is also a usual one that is made from rubber with sleeves. The tube is connected to the radiator through metal fittings. Going to the water block, the tube is connected through metal and plastic fittings to swivel it easily. The fans are the Delta F12BK fans that are pre-installed on the radiator. It has rubber fittings at all corners to lessen the vibration and noise. The fan has a maximum speed of 2000 RPM and a maximum airflow of 77 CFM. The fans also have a little bit of curvature on the edges which is a great touch. The fans can be connected using the 4-pin fan cable. Let's install the AIO cooler.
here are my final thoughts. The Ossipus IOTA L36BK AIO cooler is a great cooler, not just because of the build quality, but also because of its aesthetics and performance. I find the water block really cute to look at, as it is simple but has an elegant design. It doesn't have too much RGB lighting, as it has the right amount of vibrance and uniformity that complements the overall design and doesn't block the digital display. Installation was straightforward and so easy. If you have lots of experience installing deep cool AIOs, then it's just almost the same. Even a total beginner can do it by reading the user's manual. Performance-wise, based on the benchmark results, it really performs well and it's almost at the top. At this price range, with a digital display, it really performs well. The USB 2.0 connector is also long enough to be routed at the back of the case, unlike its air cooler brother, the IOTA ACC2BK, which is really good as they consider the length of the cable. Overall, the Ossipus IOTA L36BK is a great cooler, with good performance, nice aesthetics, and good uniform RGB lighting. It is easy to install and will cool your CPUs really well. For that, it is easy to recommend. You can buy the Ossipus IOTA L36BK AIO cooler for around $93 or 5,395 pesos at your nearest Ossipus affiliated online and physical stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page. And see you in the next video.